Deploying an Azure AKS cluster with Rancher is straightforward. Let's see how the process works. First you need to add your Azure credentials in the cluster management section. Once your credentials are ready you just need to select AKS when you create a new cluster and follow the wizard. The cluster will be associated with your member roles so the access to that cluster can be integrated with Rancher's role base access control. You can customize the Kubernetes version, labels, network plugins, security and many other configurations. In our example we have selected the Azure region, the virtual machine size, Kubernetes version, resource group and the DNS prefix. Some minutes later the new cluster will show up both in Rancher and on your Azure portal. The cluster deployment process relies on the Kubernetes API and some of its powerful features like operators and custom resource definitions. Rancher provides operators and custom resource definitions to manage many Azure objects, including AKS clusters so you can easily automate all the processes using an infrastructure as code approach. All you need to do is creating your custom resources using the API or YAML file and apply them as any other Kubernetes object. The controller component inside the operator drives all the process. It will validate the cluster definitions and, using your Azure credentials, will take care of communicating with Azure's API to create or update a cluster based on your chosen configurations. Visit suza.com slash rancher for more information.